Bonjour, guten Tag, what's up, bro? Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. So, yesterday evening, I arrived at the same place from last week where Tora hosted me. So glad that he can host me again because the club said that it would be perfect if I would stay here for a longer period. And then we're going to see. But today is literally the same day as we're going to have training. And on Friday we have our match against my former pro team that rejected me. <laughs> this is amazing. Like everything happens for a reason. So you guys can now imagine how motivated I am. To play that game and to show them that it was a mistake to not take me so that's why let's start this day right with having a good breakfast my porridge with oat milk and and some coconut things and also the sun is shining so I think it's gonna be a good day even that it is intense to have everyday training but you get used to it this is like pro life literally but let's do this i'm on my way now to the gym as that's what i always do and this time i want to work on my agility a bit more because we're going to have a match very very soon and i want to be ready for that i want to do some skipping as well and you guys know what makes me happy right now not that the sun is shining and there's literally no snow anymore like how amazing is that no snow like wow i can even start to maybe train like outside because do you guys see the pit the goats they are goats 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 mate so that's the good part but the thing that makes me happy is that you guys all know that two weeks ago I was rejected and this was the hardest time in my life I've never felt so bad than to this time because I was so close to that pro contract and it was literally in front of my nose and I even cried because I was I was just so close to to just go back to England because I was thinking mate it doesn't make any sense anymore to stay here but there are just a couple of people from team Brandao or let's say the majority that supported me, encouraged me to just keep going. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for, for just supporting me through this hard time. And also I saw, that's what I always do sometimes on YouTube. I watch like church preachers. And the topic today was God's signature. And sometimes in our life, things we fail. Things we get rejected, things are not working out. Like, if you guys are like married or I don't know what, or have a girlfriend and things are broken up, or you work and you're not happy with your life, and I want to do something different and everything. Like, the thing is, everything happens for a reason. And if you trust in God, because He put a signature into our lives, and everything that we do is meant to be like that. Even that sometimes we don't understand it, but I need to understand that this rejection and everything was meant to be like that because God has other plans for me. I don't know what and I didn't figure out yet what other plans, but I just need to trust him. I just need to keep being faithful because I know one day it's going to come. And if it's not a, a football contract, then it must be something different. But at least when you try it and when you trust him and just let God guide you through this life, it's going to come. But the most important thing is to keep going, 
So no matter where you are, maybe you play football, you got rejected or something because I represent so many people out there. Just keep going. Just keep going. Trust me, it's going to come. Are you with me? But let's go to the gym. Okay, normally I wanted to be in the gym, but I forgot that my one week free trial is over. So they just said, sorry, either you have to pay now or you go to another gym. So that's why I'm back home. And what I'm going to do, because our club has a gym as well, so I'm going to just go there to the gym. Because the manager said, I remember that if you want to go to the gym or something else, just just come because we're going to be there since the morning so that's what i'm going to do but i'm so hungry so i cooked pasta with vegetables and mushrooms broccoli and also because food is very very expensive here in sweden especially vegetables so that's why i'm really thinking and i think i'm going to do that i'm going to switch to vegetarian because oat milk, almond milk, those milks, two pounds. And um, broccoli, a small bunch of broccoli in England, it is, I think, 50 pence, six, 60 pence, 60p. Here, two pounds. A small thing. Forget tofu. Tofu is like three, four pounds. This, like, I won't survive, bruh. I won't survive if I keep trying to be vegan. Like, I just simply can't afford it. So simple as that. So that's why I think I'm going to switch back to, to vegetarian or something. Because otherwise I'm going to be... <laughs> but it is important, especially in football, that you eat healthy. And because you can't imagine when you eat healthy, trust me, your performance is going to be different. So I need to make sure that I keep being healthy, but just vegan, no, I can't, I can't. training done and is it not crazy like at least it's so nice that this club has a gym but it's time for training now so I'm gonna see you after that <laughs> Guys, is that not beautiful? Wow, I love that. I love that. So training done and it started again to snow, but hopefully it will not last for long. But again, a good training session and I love that. Guys, division one teams, like third division here in Sweden, the tempo is just, it's just very, very good. All players are just good. There's no one really who is not good everyone can play football and they have training literally every single day and today we did some matches 7v7 5v5 and this team as well loves to play tiki taka and that's what suits me like because i'm quite technical and when i'm center back i don't like to push the ball just uh, like forward i just like to play a bit and this team is very very good very very self-confident as well and after the match we did a game analysis of our match against the second division team 
and we talked about for an hour and that's what I just love game analysis like match analysis you see what you did good what you did wrong and I really like that but the manager talked to me and after the match because I wanted to talk to him because I want to see how the situation is because I don't want to just train there one month and then after one month they tell me maybe something like blah 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 so I need to know straight what's the point and what's the situation like so he told me that First of all, the club doesn't have so much money. And he told me that before, at the beginning, when he contacted me, if I'm also able to play but with no money, and instead of they will try to help find me a job. And I said, yes, but we will see. But when I think of it now, because first of all, it's not guaranteed that I will play. Because one centre back is the captain, so there's just one spot left. And they are like, three center backs already with me and two others so i had to compete against two others and what if i don't play and i need game time i need game time and there's this fourth division team that wants to sign me and i will get some game time so should i sign with the fourth division team or the third division team that is not guaranteed that i play and i don't get really money I need to they will help to find me a job and like that's the thing now that I'm thinking of as of course I want to play as high as possible third division there are some teams who are professional some not and you are on transfer marks every single game is nearly recorded and some of them are even on TV or you play one below you play every time you get money and so that's the decision that I need to make but Oh, I will think about it that night because I've learned something from the recent months that I can't just wait and train one month and then like to don't know what happens like because I don't want to depend on anyone so I really need to make a decision I really need to make a decision and maybe to go one step below and but you know what guys tomorrow I'm going to show you the stadium, I'm going to show you the club, like, so you guys can going to see. But I think it's going to be interesting, but as you guys see, it's snowing everywhere. Oh my day, so that means, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button guys. And keep in mind, when you believe, everything is possible. So Team Brandao, Mm. I'll see you tomorrow.